our first big partnership was with Winky Lux, the mm-hmm. beauty brand. The founder was actually on a previous Build Love Flying podcast. Natalie is absolutely amazing. Mm-hmm. I had pitched the brand to her and I was like, we should do an HX Winky Lux partnership. And she thought it was like a cute brand. There was a lot of visual crossover. She took a chance. It was just after they had raised their seed round. So like having a venture backed brand that that gave each like a little bit of a stamp of approval. It's like what Gary says about the high school cafeteria. Natalie was the one person who was like, she can sit at the cool kids table. So that, that opened every single door for us thereafter. So we got our seat at the cool kids table. And then not even a week later, free people requested samples. After we launched in free people, then anthro came, then urban came, then bandeau came just From there on, the domino effect of us having 100 stores was like, boom, 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 boom. Um, And also with with maintaining those relationships, just because my background is in product and design, we were able to make exclusives for all of these accounts. So there was very little crossover and they were willing to to push each because they had their own. They had one of each. (laughs) <laughs> as we like to say. So yeah, so the exclusivity really helped get people over the finish line. So it would be their own shape or in their own color. So that that was huge for us. 